Any old uh, video game stuff around? Uh, no, I never was really too much into video games. All right, man. You know, I'm I, I you know, I, I, I'm just I fumble thumbs. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! and happy holidays and welcome to another episode of Gartner's Video Game Garage Shelling Live G Shelling Live the original and this is number seven now clearly there's no garage selling going on right now it's 25 degrees out it's pouring rain it's 60 mile an hour winds there's blizzards going on across the northeast now, there may be garage selling going on in Bithead 1000th neighborhood. I know that dude swims through hurricanes to get the garage sales. But at least around here, there is no garage selling going on. So these are clips from the summer. And, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions on the old videos uh, about, Hey, hey Gardner, why, why are you breathing so loud? What, what's going on? Why, what, why are you breathing so hard? The glasses are on my nose. You know, they're located, the spy glasses are located directly on my nose. And for those of you who are humans that are watching this show, uh, if you're breathing, that means you're alive. So, <laughs> you know, the, the microphone's picking up my breathing. I don't know what to say about that. Um, but uh, that should address that issue. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get to it. Hey, I drive a 1991 Buick Riviera. <laughs> I can fit six people in the back seat. Yeah, I could probably fit about seven chicks in the back of that Buick Riviera. You know, I would probably have to be in Vegas to do that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Doom for the PlayStation for four quarters or a dollar. Now, again, I didn't have change. It was early in the morning. Um, chick was kind of cute, actually. Uh, you know, Doom is, uh, I've never played Doom before. That. That's a nice scratch going across right there. Doom is, uh, you know, a cool game. I've played it for the PC. I've never tried it for the PlayStation. I also had it for the 32X, which is a pretty good port. Now, I've never tried this one. Uh, in fact, it says on the back, the best Doom yet by John Romero, who was the creator of Doom. So, let me even know if this is a good uh, version of it. Let me know. Maybe I'll just check it out on my own. Either way, for a buck, not a bad deal. And on the next uh, sequence videos, uh, basically, there was a ton of shit. ton of video game shit in it. And, uh, again, I was being selective. Now, I should have made an offer on the entire lot. But I just had a feeling, you know, you go to garage sales enough, you just have a feeling that they're not the type of people that would do that. And I had a feeling for this one. But, you know, I'll let the video speak for itself. Check it out. Yeah. 
<laughs> my thumb. I feel like I'm gonna slow down. I'm like, come on. <laughs> How's it going? Alright. Uh, no? Just checking things out. Yeah, man. Those are all like flexible. Are we done? How much are the games? Game stuff? Yeah. No, I'm not calling you stuff. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, how much? And you gotta check make sure the game is going to With a tractor trail moving from the corner to the house. A tractor trail back up all the way to the front door. To the street. That's how long it was. Basically. <laughs> I don't even know, there's a whole bunch of PlayStation games. Shrek. 
You got some 360 games in there. That's an Xbox 360? Yeah. That's what that is? No. These are uh, 360. This is his regular Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about this guy. Oh. Roger Zapper, whatever it is. <laughs> Some of them are, yeah. Which of the games? Um, the game? Uh, I don't know, like two bucks each. Do you want it? How much did it cost? Uh, ten bucks each. You know, I think there was some shady math going on in this. Uh, I told her, I think I said 11, but I think I have 12 from this garage sale. And she said $2 a game, and then it came up to $25 somehow. I don't know, maybe because she saw one of the games that I had in there that probably occurred to her that she probably just paid 60 bucks for it, you know, maybe six months before that. Whatever. Either way, it's a fantastic deal. I think I gave her $22 for all the games that I'm about to show you. Now there was an N64 there, there was a couple PlayStation 2's as that, as that dude was talking about. But listen, I already have all that stuff and I don't need it, so, you know, I'll just show you the games and that's all I was interested in. And uh, let's start with the Super Nintendo games. Super Mario World. And Donkey Kong Country. Both these are in great condition. A Jenny game that I've never played um, and I don't have. It's called the Page Master. If anyone knows anything about this game, let me know, man. This uh, looks like a RPG. Uh, maybe it was a movie. I'm not sure, but let me know. Some quality N64 games here. Two Super Smash Brothers. One with a ripped label in the back. So uh, yeah, that's cool. Some trade material right there. Got uh, probably my favorite game on the N64, Mario Kart 64. Super Mario 64, and again, a Hollywood video engraved their, you know, their insignia into the back. 
deserve to be out of business for doing shit like that. And Cruising USA. I remember playing this in the arcade. Never played it for N64. I'm sure it's pretty good. It's a cool game. It's littered with blockbuster stickers, of course. Killer Instinct Gold. Killer Instinct. I remember playing Killer Instinct in the arcade, actually. I don't know what the gold version means, but uh, I remember playing in the arcade. One PlayStation game, and uh, this is cool. I've never played this, but I remember uh, hearing about it. And it's uh, Metal Gear Solid, the VR missions. Um, I believe it's strictly trying to just get through training missions and stuff like that, but I'm not 100%. Um, kind of cool, though. I'm looking forward to playing this. And a couple of PlayStation and Xbox 360 games. Uh, the first one is, I don't know, this game just looked interesting. It's called, I believe it's Kia Dark Lineage. Um, don't know anything about it. Let, let me know if this is any good. Here's a game I tried. It's not bad, It's too, but it's it's too bad that it's, you know, named, named Predator. Um, because it's not that great, but it, it's Predator Concrete Kingdom. Decent game, not not great though. Decent game. And Halo 3. Now I said six months. This game was probably came out uh, three years before this, but I don't know. She probably saw it. I don't know much about Xbox. I don't know much about Halo 3, but for two bucks, complete. Not a bad deal. All right, in the next uh, sequence. You're not going to actually see anything live, but it's my little ditty about how I found uh, one of the holy grails of... Just check it out. Alright guys, so it's, uh... It is Monday, Columbus Day, and, um... I got annihilated last night, totally shit-faced. And, uh, because, you know, teachers have off today. So, um, I, uh, <laughs> I especially got wasted after the Jets lost to the Patriots, you know, big game. So I'm on my way out to get a sandwich, and literally, uh, five houses down from me is having a garage sale. And it looked like, you know, a typical garage sale, because they had, uh, they had little kids, um, and so they were running around, you know, it looked like a lot of toys, and, you know, I'm so out of it, so hung over that I just, I wasn't really paying attention, and I walked by this, and then I did a double take and I walked back and it is a turbo graphics 16 man I mean it looks like a Cujo actually fucking bit into it so I don't know if it works but uh, it's a turbo graphics 16 man you just do not ever see these things in the wild they don't exist in the wild, man. It's like uh, it's like seeing a um, dodo bird. It just doesn't exist. Anyway, yeah, it kind of gives it some style, man. If this thing works, pretty cool. <laughs> it took a beating. Came with uh, two controls, two turbo pads, the turbo tap, multi tap, I guess. I don't know what this is. King of Casino, which I am. I am a king of the casinos. And the power pack. No, wait. That's not the power pack. That's the Sega power pack. Uh, whatever. Either way. I'm sure you can just use any regular power cord on this. Let's see what we got here. Not even sure what that is right there. But yeah, it takes a 10.5 volt. So, I'm sure you can use... You can't use this one, but um, yo man, Turbo Graphics right here, 16. I so I asked the woman, uh, you know, how much for the Turbo Graphics because she was all the way at the front of the sale, and um, she's like the gr the greater graphics. She didn't even know what the hell I was talking about. But she came up, and I was like, yeah, it looks like uh, you know a dog got at it. She's like, yeah, it's a little beat up. She's like, make me an offer. Uh, you know, I was in no mood, so I was like, five bucks. She, she was like, 
astonished, taken aback. So before she can even retort, I was, how about seven? And she's like, alright, I'll do seven. So seven bucks for a Turbo Graphics 16. You know, can't beat that. But, uh, alright guys. Hey Joe. What are you growling at? It's cause I am the king of casino. <laughs> but I was shit. But I wasn't kidding around, man. This really does look like Cujo got to it. It's uh it's got some major scratches on there. But it does work. Turbo graphics does work. Um, but it came with two turbo pads in pretty good condition. And it came with uh, this turbo tap, which I guess is necessary because there's only one controller port on the turbo graphics. How weird is that? Uh, I think there's only one. Yeah, I think there's only one controller port on the turbo graphics. So you need one of these if you want to play with more than one player and there's actually five hookups which is kind of cool <clears throat> but yeah what a hell of a deal for seven bucks and uh, you know that was at probably 12 o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday five doors down from my house you know I was so out of it I didn't even bother asking if they had any more games or anything like that I probably should have but uh, alright guys that's it I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. I hope you had a good one. I hope uh, Santa was good, good to you. And uh, you know, I got I got some videos coming up. I might even make an appearance at Magfest. I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of that. All right, guys. Good seeing you, and I'll see you next time.